This is James with Net News Ledger. It's the 20th of April, 2020. This is what you need to know tonight. First of all, we're going to be giving you some overview on the COVID numbers and where Ontario stands. Second, we're going to be talking about Metrolinx and what they were using to keep the buses clean and keep the trains clean in Toronto on those new Bombardier cars they make here in the city. Third, we're going to talk about the homeless and what's happening there. And finally, we're going to talk about tanking oil prices. Stay tuned. Top of the news tonight, we're going to talk about the COVID numbers. Globally, 2.4 million people have contacted a positive test for COVID-19. Of that, 170,000 people are dead. But the good news is 645 people have already recovered. In Canada, 36,670 people have contacted COVID-19 with a positive test. The death number is still at 1,680 and 12,197 people have recovered. The officials in Ontario tell us, however, that the efforts that we're all doing to flatten the curve are starting to work. The curve is starting to flatten in Ontario. But today, we saw new modelling that shows there's some light at the end of the tunnel. The numbers clearly show that the steps we have taken as a province are working. And they're working because of you. They're working because we've all come together, because we're taking this fight very seriously, because we're throwing everything we have at it, and we can't let our guard down now. This virus remains a clear and present danger. My friends, we still have far to go but thanks to our collective efforts, we're in a better position today. What that means, keep the self-isolating. Keep the six feet, two meters of distance, so that we're not spreading this virus. This is really important, and we need to keep that going. Continuing our coverage tonight. A commonly used product used early in March by Metrolinx and Go Transit in Toronto, as well as other transit and bus companies across Ontario, to curb COVID-19 by sanitizing their buses wasn't approved by Health Canada. The government is talking about a product called Aegis Microbe Shield. Now in its concentrated format, it had some approval, but in the ready to use product and in the wipes product, which is what this one here is, that we have been provided at Net News Ledger, this wasn't approved by Health Canada. Now, the government did something kind of interesting here. They did a Google search. They found every company that stated online that they were using Aegis Microprobe Shield, and they've contacted them with a letter that Net News Ledger received earlier today. We've got it in the links down below. This is sort of a, a growing, developing story because there's been a lot of concern raised over recent weeks about the products that are being put out there to help protect the public, masks and other products, that haven't been approved. So there's a real issue here, and we promise to keep you posted. On the issue of homelessness, the New Democrats are explaining that if we don't do something about homeless people and getting them self-isolating, we are going to see homelessness be the next epicenter of COVID-19. Andrea Horwath and the NDP are saying that we got to be doing more than we're doing. In Thunder Bay, Thunder Bay District Social Services Administration Board says there's 170 hotel rooms now that are available for people to self-isolate. Some of the rooms are going to be for people who have been in the hospital and come out, and other rooms are going to be for homeless people who want to self-isolate. They're going to be under the supervision of the Salvation Army. So it's a step in the right direction that's been coming, and it's taken several weeks to get there. One of the big stories that's going to affect the economy, not only in Alberta, but eventually across Canada, because all of the manufacturing that happens to support the oil industry in Western Canada is going to come to a halt unless oil prices do something. Today, the price of Western Canadian Select went into negative numbers, minus one cent for a barrel of oil. In other words, if you wanted to buy a barrel of oil, the oil company would be paying you. This is serious for our economy. It's got Alberta in a panic. Premier Jason Kenney is saying that it's going to take a lot to fix the economy in Alberta. Now, what does it mean for you when you're pulling up to the gas station and loading your tank? Are you going to get free gas? No, you're not. 
the price of gas may go down into the 47 to 53 cent a liter. That's about as low as it can go. And the reason for that is a combination of provincial taxes, federal taxes, and the new carbon tax that is on a liter of gas. They're set as set numbers, not as a percentage of the price of oil or the price of gasoline. So it's something that you really, really have to be watching. We're gonna, we're gonna close out tonight talking about some good work by the Thunder Bay Police Service. People in the Woodridge neighborhood were complaining that there's been a lot of carjacking going on. So Thunder Bay Police increased the number of patrols in the area. And last night at three o'clock in the morning, they captured a 41 year old and a 51 year old who were stealing from cars. Now you'd think car hopping was something you might expect teenagers to be doing. But I guess we've got some overage teenagers that were arrested and one has been left in custody and the other has been released under conditions. We don't know the name of the person who was released, but there are details in the story that's in the link down below. The big secret tonight, Thunder Bay, is to keep yourself going. Don't go COVID crazy with cabin fever just because the uh, child tax has come out. We've got a lot of work to do to keep this curve going and together we can do that. That's the information you need to know. Stay six feet away while you read it, but be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and as we're double and triple checking our sources, we'll keep you up to date. This is James with Net News Ledger in Thunder Bay, Ontario.